Climate change is one of the most defining issues of our time and climate action requires a whole host of elements to come into play, finance, technology, policy, etc. The question of talent, however, is one which is not getting as much attention as it needs to get. At Climate Code Programme, we want to be part of the solution. There is space for everybody to find their roles in addressing climate crisis. One, it affects everyone. So regardless of what you do, it's going to be having an impact on whether you are working in the private sector, social sector, even if you're an entrepreneur. Every department that you go to, every company that you speak to will come back to you and say, we need more sustainability talent. The idea here is therefore, can you identify those climate leaders of tomorrow? Every job in the future will be in the climate job. I don't know when, but I think it's only a question of when and not if. That's why the workforce within all the companies, specifically in the hard to abate sector, need to be motivated and to always look at sustainability in a way that that's the business as usual in the future. It's not now, but that's the hope. That means you will need upskilling of every single department, whether it's the manufacturing team, the R&D team, the marketing team, the sales team, the finance teams, and even HR. The fellowship is a program where you identify high potential fellows, you train them, and then you pair them up with host organizations, which could be private sector or government. With the Climate Corp's presence in US, China and now in India, which are the three largest absolute emitters in the world, it has a very strong hold of understanding the major policies and disruptions happening in this space. In return, what are they doing? Trying to address the capacity gap for the industry, training students like myself and creating a greater awareness across the world. Usually sustainability teams are small teams and high impact teams. They do multiple projects on multiple themes together. For example, you'd be doing daily great with energy efficiency, water conservation, but you might not have time for biodiversity. So whom do you call? You call Climate Corp. So we had a Climate Corp champion for about three months. She supported us doing a thorough baselining, going out, reaching out to people, speaking to them, understanding uh, some of the challenges, drawing a roadmap, and also supporting us in initiative baselining that we can take and move forward. I must say I was very impressed with the quality and the output uh, delivered. It's a hands-on capacity building exercise. It's not just a classroom session, but you actually get to work on real problems, but also provide human resource capacity to these organizations to maybe work on a problem that they are dealing with. So it's a win-win for both. I have been fortunate enough to work with I think about five different fellows over the last three years now. One person worked on the entire carbon credit markets, the second person worked on the entire reporting and disclosure framework related to sustainability, a third person worked on agriculture. You work very independently on those projects with minimal hand-holding. Here the ability to actually make substantial decisions for big companies and to see those impact right in front of you is something that's very rewarding. You have a very solid foundational course that you go through and you also have a solid backup for the rest of your life in terms of the alumni community that we have at Climate Corp. This network is the next cohort of climate action leaders of tomorrow where people can ask questions, get support, share ideas. It helped me play a part in one of the biggest construction firm sustainability teams. And this is not an opportunity which any climate professional would miss out on. Working on climate change and sustainability is going to be amongst the most fulfilling careers that you could possibly choose. It has enormous amount of purpose. It's complicated and so intellectually every day is stimulating because there's new technologies, there's new ways of working, there's new business models. This place is ripe for innovation and if you're looking for a place which combines passion and purpose and profit, work in sustainability and climate action.